Thank, we want to thank the Premier first um, for keeping to his word um, to come out and address us. I mean, thank you to, comrade, uh, to you, comrades, who came out from work as domestic workers and uh, uh, cleaners to come to engage with the Premier, to engage in, in, in processes that the state has put in place for us uh, to engage with them. Now, Premier, we're here around the issue of Itafel Bank, right? We're here for, around the issue of Itafel Bank. One, one of the issues that we're wanting to get an understanding on is around when will the province build on the Itafel Bank site, right? Because some of the issues um, that have been raised by domestic workers time and time again around C point is that uh, the body corporate rules that do not allow for domestic workers in domestic quarters to stay with their families, right? And now that's an injustice that, that is pervasive um, and further entrenched by these uh, body corporate rules. Now, people have been saying that we want a place to call a home in C Point, and a strategic site that places itself for that is, is, is the Temple Peak site. Now, it's, it's, it's when is Temple Peak site being released to build social housing? Because currently, in our understanding, is that there is nothing in the current litigation that is going on um, that is at the SCA that is stopping um, you, Premier, with the political will that you have to release that site for building. Before you came to office, you released a very beautiful op-ed, Premier, to say that you want to undo the legacy of apartheid. That's a promise that you made, and the rest of us here are holding on to. And part of why we are here today is to ask you, uh, when, when, when are you acting on that particular promise that, that you made on that particular site? Because, just as I finish, is that we understand currently that the province is spending about 60,000 rand per month on security guards um, on that precinct. And for us, that's money that we think can be used to build, at least to start a process of social integrating sit points so that it doesn't represent or its characteristics are that of special injustice um, and exclusion of, of the working class people. So those are the things that I wanting to engage you on, um, Premier. Um, I don't know if, if Uma Mushila, because Uma Mushila stays in Sipo in particular, and she has spoken to you yes, yes. Um, around some of the issues. Uh, so maybe we'll give you some time to, 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 to respond to the issues to that Sheila has now. spoken to here, yes. because people are waiting for, for, for oh. that, yes. So first of all, uh, it's Sheila Marikane, thank you yes. very much. Thank you, Premier. You came all the way to see me, along with all of you. I really appreciate it. That's what this platform is about. You come and engage. Anyone can come and engage. I've also got your document dated today. We will reply to this document. Thank you, the first question is a piece of land called Tafelberg. And you know that it's in courts at the moment. I wish that court case will finish so that we can actually finalize what we need to do with that property. And uh, we will do whatever we can to make sure that that property can be maximized uh, for use. That social housing can also be included in that discussion. But what I also want to say is that we've got a much bigger property right there at the Helen Bowder Nurses, yes. Nurses Home. Yes. That property yes. we want to develop for hundreds of opportunities. But the problem is it's illegally occupied. We saw this devastating <coughs> fire. You saw a terrible fire. 77 people lost their lives in Johannesburg. We don't want that to happen in this province. We're doing an assessment on that property we, because that must also be included in this. We need to get this moving as quickly as possible. And uh, mm -hmm. we will push hard. We, need, we also need people to say, can we, you also help us reclaim the city? Let's help us actually enable that property to be developed. Let's allow the people to move out so we can develop it quickly and safely. I don't want to lose any lives in that can, can Can I, uh, can I so, ask you something, Premier? Yes, you can. But I just want to say to you that I will, I will, I will, we will push. I'm going to answer you on this and I will also, in this answer, give you an update of where the court case is and any of the other opportunities that are available in the vicinity. Okay. If, if Premier say that, you want to do social housing on that facility where we are. As we, as people that are there, where are you going to take the people to and where are you going to put them? Because you can't just take them out and put them on the street. You need to take them and put them under a roof. Secondly, at the Tafelberg site, yes, we understand it's the heritage of the Jewish people site. We don't want the trees or we don't want the, 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 the stone that's there. We know the school has not been built with bricks. It's been built with a stone. We don't want the stone. The heritage can still stay there for their kids, for kids that still needs to be born, that's not even there on earth yet. But the site that we want 
that belongs to the government that needs to be built social housing yes as i said before that we know there can be no rtb houses in the cbd but you can build at least two blocks of flats that's going to be four storage high at the back there is a little building already there that's been called one yard mansion to just straighten that building out then make it livable for domestic workers carers caretakers sweepers that sweep from from epw how can they not have places to stay we live in those tiny rooms where basement rooms is and you know yourself that there's body corporate rules that we can't go over the body corporate rules we need to obey the rules of the body corporate and i don't think it's nice or it's happy when that you if your family comes to you and 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 your family has been called vagrants or your family has been called that it's strangers on the property but you as the mother or the father that lives there that works there that use your whole energy to work there you you you, you how do you take it in because of we also want to just wake up next to our jobs yes, not waking up three o'clock in the outskirts and yeah. going to find a job at seven o'clock we, 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 we need to be next to our places where we need to work so as far as possible status. because everybody would love yes. it but Sheila I will we will come back to you thank you thank you very much thank you thank you thank you thank you